Hey guys, I hope you're doing well. Today we're going to check out the MIDI controller that I just built. So I've been using the Axe FX for a couple of years now and uh, I never really got down to buying one of those foot controllers. I just felt it wasn't necessary and definitely I didn't want to go and invest in one because I'd probably use it, you know, a fraction of the time. Last year I reached out to a company, I won't name which one, but uh, I thought, you know what, let me see if they would send me one to review. And uh, I got no reply. So I said, what the hell, I'll build myself one. This is my new MIDI controller. You got your MIDI out for momentary switches. And I've got a little trick up my sleeve here, which I'll get to. So I thought, if I need a MIDI controller, do I want to just sit and change preset blocks? Not really. How often do I have to turn off my compressor, delay, or chorus? Not that often. What would be more handy is to change a scene on my preset. That was one thing I needed. Second thing is tuning your guitar. Every time I had to if I'm sitting over here and my Axe FX is over there, I need to get up, go press that button for the tuner, tune up, press it again, come back. If I could just do it from by swiveling my chair, that could come in handy. That's number two. Another thing that I wasted a lot of time with is when I'm using my takes. Uh, some of you might know I've just gone through shoulder surgery, so uh, my hand still tenses up a lot when I use the mouse. So could I limit the amount of uh, mouse clicks and mouse movement more particularly? If I couldn't control my door with my controller, that would be a game changer for me. So here's what I've gone and done. I have four momentary switches. This one controls my record. So if I enable a track, I just hit this little record. I hit it again, it'll stop recording, but your track is still playing. So I could literally do a record punch in and out now with this button, which is so cool. Imagine a solo where you just want to get in and get out without having to press a whole bunch of buttons. Here's, here's what I'm going to use now. Then I have a stop. If I double click this stop, it takes me back to the start where I was when I hit the record, which is fantastic. That is such a time saver. This is to actually play back my track. So I could just go to the beginning, play, you know, and then I would stop it again. Um, and then finally, the undo button. So if I want to redo a take, I just hit this. And as I hit it, it just does a sequential undo. So now this has become very powerful for me in my workflow. Then your next question will be, how do I control the axe effects? So I needed to extend this and I didn't want to make it any larger or have more buttons to sit and remember. And that brings me to remote control <laughs> that was lying around the house. If I could get this configured with this, I could extend the number of buttons I can use. And for me to tune the guitar, it's actually more intuitive to turn around, look tune up, disengage the tuner, come back, rather than stomp, stomp back, those kind of things, you know. The next thing I wanted to do was go between scenes and now I can do that literally <laughs> with uh, the forward and backward arrow. I've also configured the volume, so there's a volume up and down. I literally looked at this remote and said, how can I translate these buttons into something that's as closely related so I don't have to sit and translate in my head okay this refers to that you know kind of deal and uh, I have 0 to 9 over here which I have fooled around with a bit so I 0 and 1 actually does uh, compressor enable disable and delay etc now I don't think I'll be using that much but I just wanted to make sure I could configure as much as I'd like to and um, I'm pretty stoked about this. Really fu a fun build. Uh, took me a while to conceptualize what I wanted to do, how I wanted to go about it, and I built this myself. Um, 
I actually had to even go and find, you know, uh, the step drill bit, something I've never used before. So all in all, a fun little project. And I just love learning something new each time I build. Um, this time I didn't lose the screws, so it's all nicely buttoned up. It's neat. It's, it's rigid. And uh, it works like a charm. I just wanted to share that with you guys. Uh, I am still in the process of perfecting the pedal, getting it to do exactly what I want. You'll see a follow-up video at some point. Um, that I'll wrap this up and I'll see you on my next update. Bye now.